With our construct and element files created, we now need to add our walls, doors, and other objects to these files. Let's begin with the exterior walls. From the Constructs tab, I'll double-click on the exterior drawing to open it. Notice on the drawing status bar are the name of the current project as well as the type and name of the current file. From Project Navigator, I'll drag and drop the ground floor construct into this file to give me the boundary for creating the exterior walls. From the Home tab, Draw Panel, Rectangle Tool, I'll click the Boundary command. In the Boundary Creation dialog box, I'll select the Pick Points button and pick a point inside the XREF ground floor, then press Enter to end the command. The boundary polyline is created. From the Drawing status bar on the right, I'll pick the Manage XREFs tool. In the External References palette, I'll right-click on the ground floor and from the pop-up menu, pick Detach, and then dismiss the palette. From the Tool Palette's Design Group Walls palette, I'll right-click on the Brick-4, Brick-4 Furring tool. From the pop-up menu, Apply Tool Properties to menu, I'll pick the Line Work option. At the prompt, I'll select the polyline and then right-click. At the Erase Layout Geometry prompt, I'll pick Yes and then press the Escape key. The walls are created but facing the wrong direction. To reverse them, I'll pick the walls one at a time and use the arrow in the middle of each wall. Once I press the Escape key, the brick is now on the exterior side. Now I need to change the height of the walls. I'll select all of them, then use Dimensions. The base height is currently 10 feet. I'll enter 28 feet 0, then press the Escape key. I'll next add some egress doors. On the Tool Palette's Design Group Doors Palette, I'll click the Hinged Single Exterior tool. In the Properties Palette Dimensions Group, I'll select the 3 foot 0 by 7 foot 0 standard size. In the Location, I'll set position to center, verify that vertical alignment is threshold, and that it is set to zero inches. I'll pick the left vertical wall, then pick to set the door, and then the right vertical wall and pick to set the door. Hovering over the left front horizontal wall, in the dynamic dimensions, I'll enter two feet zero inches for the distance to the curved wall, and then press enter to end the command. This door style currently has a threshold on the wrong side. To edit this, I'll click General, Door, Edit Style. From the Door Style Properties dialog box, I'll pick the Threshold Plan Display Representation, then the Edit Display Properties button on the upper right. On the Layer Color Line Type tab, I'll reverse the visibility of Threshold A and B. On the other tab, I'll adjust the A and B values to 2 inches each, then pick OK twice. The threshold is now on the outside. Next, I'll place some door window assemblies. On the Home, Build, drop-down tool, I'll choose Door Window Assembly. From the Content Browser, I've loaded the picture top 3 foot wide plus awning 2 foot high bottom style. In the Properties Palette, General Group, Style Option, I'll use that style. They have to be sized correctly, so in Dimensions, I'll make sure that the width is 10 feet 0 inches and the height is 6 feet 0 inches. In the Location for Position Along, I'll click Center, Vertical Alignment Head, and Head Height at 6 feet 8 inches. I'll place one in each horizontal front wall and then two in each vertical wall. From the Properties Palette Location Group, I'll change the position to Unconstrained to freely locate the objects and place four assemblies across the top horizontal wall, and then press Enter. To evenly space the door window assemblies, I'll pick the wall. From the Wall tab General Panel, I'll click the Edit in Elevation tool. There are two prompts, 
select line work or face under the cursor or specify reference point for view direction, and specify elevation extents. I'll pick the top edge for the first and a few feet below this for the second. I'll select the four door window assemblies, then right click. In the pop-up menu, AEC Modify Tools Cascading menu, I'll pick Space Evenly. At the first prompt, select an access to Space Evenly on or enter to specify two points. I'll pick the bottom wall edge. Next, at the prompt, select the first point along the axis. I'll pick the left outside wall corner. And last, at the prompt, select the second point along the axis. I'll pick the right outside wall corner. The four door window assemblies are now evenly spaced. I'll return to the top view and add some doors to the curved wall. This plan is interesting in that there is a custom revolving door. To add one, I'll go to the Home tab Build Panel Door Tool, then the Properties Palette General Group. I'll change to the revolving custom style I loaded from Content Browser and change the width to 8 feet. In the Location Group, I'll ensure that the position is center, then I'll pick the curved wall and make a second pick, then press Enter. To place a door on either side of the revolving door, I'll pick one of the hinged single exterior doors. From the Doors tab General panel, I'll pick the Add Selected tool. In the Properties palette Location Group, I'll set the position to Offset and Automatic Offset to 4 inches, then place the two doors on either side of the revolving door and press Enter to end the command. I'll next add a door window assembly on either side of the revolving custom door. I'll pick an existing one and use the Add Selected tool from the Door Window Assembly tab. In the Properties Palette Location Group, I'll ensure that the position along is center. Then I'll pick the curved wall on either side of the revolving door and press Enter. Finally, I need to add the Door Window Assemblies to the second floor level. I'll switch to the Southwest Isometric view, then pick a Door Window Assembly. I'll click the Select Similar tool. When I right-click, the Basic Modify Tools cascading menu shows. I'll pick Copy. At the prompt to specify base point, I'll pick an empty point on the screen. At the prompt to specify second point, I'll enter at 0, 0, 12 feet 6 inches, and then press the Escape key. I've copied the door window assemblies to the second floor.